Hi everyone, today I'm here to share with you my setup for the second and the third week of April. If you haven't seen my April setup yet, I have a little flip through here. You can check it out before this video because I'm continuing with the same theme. Minimal simple abstract mountains, something you can easily recreate. I will leave a link in the description and in the info icon. You can also find free printables for this setup and more in the description below. I've prepared some craft paper for this setup as well and got my cheat sheet to look at what design I would want to use for this spread. I decided to combine two weeks in one video for two reasons. One, because it was convenient for the Dutch door spread I made, and two, I wanted to try out something different than last month in which I posted one video for every week. So this month I will combine two weeks together. This is week two and three. Another video will be up later for week four and five. As mentioned before, you can get free dated printables for this setup linked in the description. And if you're interested in getting blank printables, they will be available for purchase in my Etsy shop. One thing that I didn't mention is that if you purchase the printables via my Etsy shop, you will always get the full setup dated and blank with the weekly spreads as well, even before the videos of those week are posted. For the free printables, you will have to wait until the video is released before you can get them. As you have seen, I pasted the craft paper on the edges of the pages and I cut off about one third of the middle page to make that a Dutch door viewing into the next week. I wrote down the days of the week vertically with a lot of space between each letter to make it seem like they're stretched out. The pages are divided into six sections and I divided the weekend section into two again. I kept it as minimal as possible because we're going to draw the abstract mountains on the craft paper on the sides, which will call out for all the attention. I'm using the Sakura Pigma Micron Fine Liners for this setup with different nibs. For writing down the days of the week, I use the 0.3 nib and later on for the mountains, I will use the 0.5 nib. Then I added circles in every section in which I will be writing down the dates. I filled these circles up with my black ink brush pen and used the thicker 0.8 nib to carefully fill up the edges of the circle. After that, I used my white gel pen to write down the numbers. I love how this looks, the white on the black. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. I double checked before writing down the dates because I didn't want to make the same mistake I made last time in the third week of March. I still laugh at it myself. We quickly move on to the next spread, which is basically the same setup with the circles and the dates, but the only change is that the circles are now just white with black numbers, and the way the days of the weeks are written is different. Instead of vertical this time, I decided to do them horizontally, still with a lot of spacing in between the letters. I feel like these two weeks kind of refer back to the double dutch door spread with the black moon and the white moon. I'm quite satisfied with how it turned out. Clean and minimal and yet very fitting for the theme. Now we move on to the part you came to watch this video for, the abstract mountains. I started out with my white gel pen drawing the triangles in a row on the left side craft paper. I continue to do this until the whole space is filled up before I start adding the connecting line in between the triangles. See how much of a difference it makes with those lines added? It creates an optical illusion as if the design is three-dimensional. If anything, it adds more dimension and depth to the design. It also makes the whole thing strangely satisfying to watch, don't you think? 
On the right side I will use my black fine liner to draw the mountains. As you could see I used my cheat sheet to choose what I wanted. I really recommend you to make something like this. I used the 0.5 nib to start drawing the mountains on this side. I love how this turned out. Actually both of the sides, I can't choose which I like better. Which one is your favorite? Leave a comment and let me know. At the end you will see that there are white spots on this design, that's because the white gel pen on the other side smudged a little on this side. The white spots turned out like snow falling on the mountains. I love this little unexpected addition, I feel like this made it complete. Another little reminder that you don't have to draw this out yourself if you don't have the patience for it. You can easily get my free dated printables and if you would like to have the blank version for maybe another month in the future, these are available in my Etsy shop. All the info is in the description and I will leave a link in the info icon as well. Remember that if you get them via my Etsy shop you will get the complete setup, even with the weekly setups that are not yet published. For the free printables they will be available as soon as the video for that specific week is out. I have a question, do you enjoy watching weekly setups or do you think they are unnecessary? Or do you think I could have easily added this to my April plan with me video? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think so I can improve my content. And also thank you so much if you have watched so far into this video. Leave a mountain emoji if there is one or leave an emoji of your choice in the comments so I know you guys are my elite. Stay tuned for the next weekly setup video, it's one of my favorite setups so far. Can't wait to share it with you. Thank you all for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you have an amazing day. And until next time, keep imagining, keep creating and stay inspired. Bye darlings.